my experience at Emerson played everything in my being here today. I truly believe I would not be here if it wasn't for Emerson. Emerson was an amazing place, uh, probably uh, ranks amongst the best years of my life. Um, I still have dreams that I've uh, you know, been attending a class. I helped start the comedy writing department at the college and, and I mean it's all like a dream. Uh, ever since I've been at Emerson it's just, I've, I, what I learned at Emerson is I'm, I was able to multitask. I did like 15 things at once and that's what my life is like now only at a higher level. It was a great place to, to sort of practice life. It all stems back from what I was taught not by my, uh, along with my parents, but like at school. I mean, they were they were really strict on, you know, you're in a professional environment and you know broadcast journalism and this is you know how you need to be and know this and so I mean, I, you know, I I took it pretty seriously. Emerson was such a great place to learn to do what I do now. Um, also, the people I met there and went to school with are the people I work with now in this business and. I wouldn't have gotten my first job in Hollywood if it hadn't been for an Emerson alum who I went to school with, and I wouldn't have met a writing partner, wouldn't have gotten my first job if it wasn't for Emerson people. The, the interesting story about Emerson Connections is the following. Uh, the first two bosses I ever had were Emersonian. It's very, that's the way it goes in this business. We, we work with each other at Emerson, we realize who the people really are as human beings before they become a big star. We know who they really, really are, and we know that they, we can trust them, we know that they're talented. And then we go out into the real world, we grab our Emerson colleagues and say, hey, you were a great camera person, you were a great comedian, you were a great voiceover person, let's all work together on this project. You'd be surprised how often you walk into a room and either recognize someone you went to school with, or you meet someone and they ask where you went to school, and you say, Emerson, and they roll their eyes. Because that's always the reaction you get. If you didn't go to school with them, they roll their eyes and like, oh, another one of you from Emerson, because we're everywhere. In one speech, I said, uh, you know, I, I love Emerson. It's the, it's the school that won't go away. And it just doesn't go away. Um, uh, either a neighbor is approaching me to tell me that their daughter from Marlboro School is anxious to go, and can I put in a good word, to I'm conducting job interviews, and inevitably the third person I'm talking to went to Emerson. Well, I've had experience uh, with Emerson students being one, A, and knowing that they're the hardest working filmmakers I know. B, on my first feature film that I produced while I was at Emerson with the same writer and director of Serial Buddies, um, we had to do a reshoot, and I gathered as many Emerson students as I could to work on it, and they outworked all the professionals on the set and were better than the professionals on the set and had better attitudes on that set. And so I always knew that whatever film I ever made, I would always have Emerson students there. Emerson was a great place to meet people. They're the people I still work with in this town to this day. The quality of students that come out of it are, are just, uh, you know, kind of unbelievable. I owe all of my creativity and I think my career on the fact that I went to Emerson.